Jonathan Goodell, along with Monica Vargas. And we are here in Sacramento, where the weather is about 70 degrees and a little bit of sunshine. But Monica, things are about to change rather quickly. That's right. It's springtime, but some winter weather is on its way. So we brought Courtney Obergfell with the National Weather Service to talk about what's in store here in California. Courtney? Yeah, we have a system moving on shore right now. Uh, rain will be pushing southeast throughout the day today and impacting most of the area on Friday. So the timing of the heavy precipitation of the storm, when do you expect that? The heaviest rain will fall from Friday afternoon through Saturday morning, and then it will become lighter during the day Saturday before finally ending on Sunday. Safe to say it's a pretty strong storm. This is a very strong and wet storm with uh, very high snow levels, so mostly rain this time around. And so we're expecting rain. How many inches are we looking at here? Totals th through the next few days uh, for the valley are going to be one to three inches with three to seven inches at those higher elevations. So being that this is a warmer storm, what type of snow accumulations are we looking at? So most of the storm will fall as rain up to about 9,000 feet. Um, on the backside of the storm Saturday evening into early Sunday, we could see um, some accumulating snow down to around 5,000 feet, but the bulk of this again will fall as rain. Is it safe to say that this is primarily a Northern California storm? That is correct. It will affect Northern and Central California before tapering off really. Um, Southern California will be mostly let out. So we hear the term Pineapple Express a lot, and it's associated with this storm as well. What exactly does that mean? So the Pineapple Express is a type of atmospheric river, which basically is a river of moisture in the atmosphere that brings rain to California from the Pacific. So Pineapple Express means that moisture is coming uh, to us from Hawaii. So one to three inches of rain, that's a pretty significant amount of rainfall. And we should um, probably expect some localized flooding, possibly some mudslides. Is that sound about right? The main concern will be localized flooding. So those low lying areas, ponding on roadways when you're driving home. So uh, be aware of that. Some of the burn scars will see heavy rainfall, but it should be at rates low enough not to cause major issues. Got it. What are some other helpful tips that people can be aware of for this next storm? Uh, we ask people to clear your gutters and storm drains today to kind of mitigate that flooding issue. Um, keep aware if you do live near, near the burn scars just in case anything does develop. Be aware and be ready to go if you need to. So we've been in the 70s these past few days, and now we're having this big storm come in. Is this going to be the last big storm before summertime? We're actually looking at a wet pattern into next week, so we could see a few more storms next week, but they don't look as wet as this one. Do you anticipate any high winds with this storm at all? We will see some strong winds uh, Friday night into early Saturday. Um, they do look to be in that 20 to 30 mile an hour range with some higher gusts at the mountain elevations. Any possibility of funnel clouds? We may see some thunderstorms pop up in the valley Saturday if we can get enough clearing Saturday morning, but not looking like anything widespread. Now, I know the National Weather Service issued a flood watch for the Sierra Nevadas. Mm -hmm. I've always been curious about the difference between a flood watch and a warning. Can you describe the differences? We issue a watch several days out ahead of a storm to let people know that something's coming. Uh, be aware and be ready uh, when the storm does come in. A warning means that flooding is imminent or already occurring. Great. Before we let you go, I know the latest snow survey results were con uh, conducted earlier this week. What can you tell us about those results and maybe what it means from a drought perspective? The snowback is below normal, but we did see enough storms to certainly help the reservoir storage out. And because we had a wet winter last winter, a lot of the reservoirs are sitting pretty good for this time of year. All right, so um, we'll be tracking the storm here at Cal OES, and we recommend everyone at home does as well. You can follow the National Weather Service on all of their social media channels. You can follow uh, Cal OES on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Also, uh, caloes.ca.gov has some tips if you need some helpful reminders on winter driving uh, tips. And also, subscribe to oesnews.com. And it's looking like we're not putting away those rain boots quite yet. Yeah, our thanks again to Courtney. Our thanks for, to all of you for watching. For Monica Vargas, I'm Jonathan Goodell. We'll see you next time.